<laughs> there we go. I'm going to record it just in case because I know the difficulty we were having was that a lot of times we just take it from Facebook and then we put it right onto YouTube and uh, it didn't work in the springtime. I'm talking about the show, Audrey Live. I'm Audrey DeYoung and so glad to be here again and to, uh, to just touch base and to network with all of you out there. And like I said, to share a lot of the talent that we have in the industry right here. Uh, just a little update because it's been a little while. I thought I'd give you an update on my family. I'm sure I know some of you see pictures on Facebook and things like that. Um, last year, as many of you remembered, Micah, my grandson, uh, was diagnosed with a brain tumor, um, had surgery and went through three months of radiation and three months of um, chemotherapy. Uh, also along with that, because it was in the back of his uh, brain, he um, uh, got posterior fossa syndrome as well, which um, just to explain it briefly, puts you back into a state of almost being paralyzed and having to relearn everything. Uh, so it's been quite the year and he's done really well. Uh, he's uh, walking and running and a little bit flobbly every now and then he, uh, but he's just doing really, really great. Um, riding his bike. Uh, he has training wheels on it, but quite often they lift the training wheels when he's a bit stronger. So he's riding his bike with the training wheels and swimming. And, uh, we were at the cottage a couple of weeks ago. We have there's one of those these paddle boats up there and uh he took my husband peter for a ride and then he took me for a ride and i didn't paddle all i just sat back and he just kept paddling his little feet and all over the place and then uh, finally he let me off the boat and then uh, he was just he's no no Oma, i'm just gonna just paddle around here around the beach a little bit and next thing you know he was waving goodbye and he was he said i'm gonna go dock it now so you know his confidence is back and and uh and he's just he's doing really well so we're really happy with that so uh still you know constantly uh doing some physiotherapy and occupational therapy but he is in school full time uh, he got on the bus by himself on Tuesday and off the bus. So he's definitely uh, on a great path uh, of recovery. And um, and yeah, so it's, it's just a great feeling uh, just to see him and the confidence that he has and seeing his old character back. He certainly is a bit of a jokester and loves to tell jokes. So that's wonderful, too. Also, his sister, Anna, so my other, my granddaughter, she's four years old, and she started JK today. So that was exciting. I'm going to, after the show, head over to their place so I can see the two of them get off the bus and uh, just see how her first day went. So that's really exciting for her, too, to, to join her brother on the bus uh, and at school. So it's very, very exciting. And, of course, Daphne, my oldest granddaughter, she's eight and a half. And uh, she is into grade three uh, right here at school close by, uh, just actually around the corner from my place. So I do pick her up every day. So it's really neat to be part of their lives in that kind of way. And uh, for myself to be able to have that flexibility. Um, yeah, so they kept me busy all summer. You know, we did some camping trips, uh, some cottage time, beach time, and crafting time. We did lots of crafting. They painted a, uh, an old picnic table, kids picnic table here. We did that. And they did lots of different projects up in the cottage as well. Uh, what did we do? We did tie dyeing of sweatshirts. We made tic-tac boards, tic-tac-toe boards. Uh, Corey did an abstract balloon art. I'll have to show those to you at some point in time, bring them over, take pictures for you. That was really interesting as well. So, um, but yeah, it's just, and, and Daphne got a face painting book at, um, at a store up there and she was busy just painting everybody's faces and it was beautiful. She certainly is a natural artist, I must say myself. <laughs> She does a really, really great job with face painting. So, uh, but September is here and, and, you know, we're on to regular schedules, regular um, as much as possible. Uh, so it's really nice just to kind of make our way uh, and get back to, to some sort of normalcy in our lives. So, uh, so yeah, so that's just a little update on the family. Uh, just want to remind everybody too, because now of course that everybody's gone to school, I can start focusing on uh, the Art Waves live online fall show which will be coming up november 2nd to the 6th registration is open uh you can go to our website so it's www.c 
the number two C events.com. And there um, you'll see on the top, it says Art Waves Live Fall Show. So there's a spring show and a fall show. So if you just click on the fall show and uh, from there, you can uh, download um, the catalog, the registration sheet, and you can also do online registration. We're really excited uh, with the talent of uh, artists we have and classes. Um, it, it's just amazing. So I'm just going to run down the list of um, teachers that we have teaching for us. We have Sue Powers, Pam Colley, Kathy Hansen, Wendy Fay, Jill Fitzhenry, Debbie Forshay-Coma, Pamela Kearns, Pat Lantine, Tracy Morrow, Anita Moran, Marie Nays, Linda O'Connell, Anna Marie Oak, Lydia Steves, Willow Wolf, Sally Tower Siblis, and Beth Wagner. That is just incredible. The talent and um, amazing people that we have teaching for us. It's, it's going to be an absolutely incredible show. And registrations have been coming in quite a bit. Uh, so um, get your registration in. And if you have any questions at all, just give me a call or you can send me a um, an email uh, and we'll, we'll get you all set up. So uh, some of the teachers are, so one of the biggest questions I have is, are the teachers recording? Because some people want to take like two classes at the same time, they can't decide. So a lot of the teachers are recording. Um, there are some that are not, and we've left that up to the individual teachers because some are comfortable with it and some are not. So uh, you would just contact the teacher. You just have to send them a quick email and uh, just, uh, you know, say if they're recording or not and and that way if you need to or want to take two at the same time you can you can participate in one class and get the recording from a different class so that has worked really well uh, for many teachers as well so um, hopefully that'll work for you as well anyway let's just get right on to our show today uh, with our first live guest and it's Anna Marie Oak, which she's, I'm sure, very familiar to many of you. Uh, Anna Marie is from Quarter Brook, Newfoundland, where she has been an artist for as long as she can remember. She was a nurse for 38 years working in the Alzheimer uh, unit, the majority of those years. Anna Marie, creativity is a way of life for her. Uh, she is a Dynasty brand specialist, a Pebio product specialist for the past five years, as well as a deco art helping artist. And those are just a few of her uh, talents. And uh, she certainly is an extremely talented woman. And I can say a great friend of mine as well. So hello, Anna Marie. Hello, how are you? There you are. Good. How are you? Uh, oh, there we are. There you are. <laughs> I didn't know I was I was in the waiting room. I thought, I hope this is going to work. Oh, yeah. It's so funny because when you don't when you do it all the time, I know. Hat. But I, know. I was the same thing, you know, because I hadn't done it since June. I'm like, oh, I know Facebook has made changes. I know Zoom has made changes. So I did. That's why I did a little practice this morning. I went live uh, I know. on Facebook just to make sure. OK, yep, it's working. So we're good. <laughs> pin myself or anything no we're good. well no you're good for right now I was just going to ask you how you've been and I know you've been doing a lot of traveling so I have been. where have the travels taken you over the last couple well, months I started in June well July I left my island and I uh, drove of course up to well Illinois I taught their chapter and drove up with Jilly Bean and we we played together at her oh, place. nice we had a great time and then we flew to Vegas for the SDP 50. Oh, yeah. It was great. I wanted to get there, but it just did not work in my schedule. We did the booth for Dynasty, Jill and myself. We had an awesome booth, lots oh. of people, uh, a lot of good feedback. It was it was really fun. Yeah. Oh, get good. Demoing the brushes and doing all the great products and stuff. It was great. Wonderful. Was great. Wonderful. And I flew back and I drove to Virginia with friends that I taught in Palmyra and uh, Richmond, a chapter in Richmond. And then I drove on home. Uh, wow. My upstairs and downstairs got suitcases and everything. And I'm uh, just hauling everything out now to see what I can show you today. Lots of new products, a lot oh, of great good. creativity and a lot of good ideas coming up for the fall and, and winter. So yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So maybe share with us some of the new products that you have there or... 
Um, you want me to pin you already? Are you wanting ready for that or? I'm all ready. I'm all, all ready. Okay, perfect. Let Do me you just... want me to start first with my classes in the. Uh, no, maybe just tell them a little bit about maybe some of the new products and some of the things that you've seen, and then we'll go to your classes. Okay. Well, first of all, um, okay, I'm going to put you down here so you can see the paints. Deco Work got awesome new colors. Of course, the Fuchsia Pop. And the purple iris, these are 2022 colors. And I have them in my studio available. The red spice, I love. And strawberry, the portobello, uh, the lush green, uh, sprout. I just love sprout. I just love those to go with greens. And tiger lily, awesome. Very nice for the fall. Sunset gold is a favorite of mine too. This is really nice. Perfect Perry, uh, blue raspberry. They're all available by DecoArt. And, uh, and also I'd like to add that the uh, DecoArt traditions, uh, Jill has a full line of them uh, and her at her place too. She's got lots of them for sale. So anyone in the U S or whatever that they need, um, their Americana traditions, just get in contact with Jill. I also loved this, and I have this uh, in stock as well, the Impasto uh, by DecoArt. It's a heavy-bodied acrylic, uh, comes in a variety of colors. I had the yellow oxide, the red, the orange, all the colors. These are the wax effects too, which I use as a burnishing. Uh, I'll just show you how thick this is because it was amazing. I use a lot of palette knife painting and with my textures and things, but this is also nice to use as a, as a paint, you know, just to use with a brush. You can use your encaustic which I'll be showing you also, the encaustic brush. Or I love the, uh, the new Black Steel uh, by Dynasty. I've been using those for my hydrangeas, and I'm just loving them. They're, the bristles are a little a bit heavier and full, full bristles. So you can take your, your paint, and this is amazing paint. You can make leaves with them or... You know, you can play with them. It dries very well. Uh, and, you know, it's a nice full coverage. I also like to. That's a very uh, thick paint as well. It's it really nice. Bodied. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I also like to stencil with it. So you can just stencil with the palette knife, scrape it up and put it over, have a thin coverage like that to stencil. I don't know if that can pick it up. Good enough, I think so. Once that dries, I will base coat it with a color. Then I'll take my wax effects and I will burnish that on there so I can add gold tones and all kinds of. I'm really playing, love playing with this. This has been awesome. Uh, so, some new products by DecoArt. I'm just loving them. So, yeah, it's uh, fun to see all the new products and all the. Come back on my other camera and there we go yeah so it's cool new product perfect perfect well maybe you can share with them the classes that you're going to be teaching at uh, the convention and uh and just a little bit of information about them okay well the first one i think i'm doing i've got a few notes written down here is the where the poppies grow the art is and it's the poppy class and I love that one as well. I have it above here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right up in the corner there. And it's a fun piece. It's a beautiful piece. Second one is Glitter Chick. I love Glitter Chick. It's a small, quick little inking class that we use with the, uh, uh, the, the uh, stuck down, uh, with the liner, the reservoir. Uh, liner brush and it's fun to do oh you oh, can it's just it's upside down for some reason upside down there you go i turn there it we go perfect so uh yeah so you can pick up the glitter on it you can see the glitter it's a fun fun little piece so that was fun also uh i'll be doing uh the fish fish for winter and that's in my suitcase still upstairs so i don't have that one but the snowman the snowflake ornament medley I love, love this class. It's four uh, ornaments. 
that I did with the uh, again they're upside down so just flip I we must have a camera I do, I do. <laughs> I'll just remember to turn it upside down there you go perfect beautiful so cool yeah so what I have is a kit done up for those anyone that signs up for the class will uh, get their uh, four ornaments already prepped and sand it with their holes drilled. They'll get a free snowflake stencil by the Crafters Workshop, which I love their stencils, they're awesome. They'll get their four ribbons. Uh, you can have black and red or white and black, it's up to you. And you'll get your four little attachments, your snowflake attachments. So that comes in a set. For $20. It's a $50 value. And just for my students who are signing up for the class, they can email me free shipping. I'll stick it in one of those bubble envelopes and off I go. So that's just want to let you know. Now, Anna uh, Marie, first of all, will they be painting all four of them or you're just going to be doing one of them in those four hours? Well, no, you'll be painting the four of them because you'll be doing the backgrounds first. And I wanted to uh, just do a little demo on the background, the brushes that I'll be using if I could, Audrey. Oh, perfect. That'd be lovely. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see the backgrounds on the snowman and the candy canes are the snowflake stencil. So you'll have your stencil in your kit and you can do them. The other backgrounds are the wood grain that I love doing. And I do those with an encaustic brush. I'm just going to move these here for a moment. An encaustic brush is by Dynasty, and it's got that white bristle. And I love using it. So I'm just going to take my ornament piece, and I'll use um, warm white by DecoArt. Uh, you can use the bleach sand or any, any color you have in a light color is fine. So I'll take my encaustic brush, I'll wet it in water, and I'll really load it, fully load. I'll go to my ornament, and I'll just go down, back and forth. I'm leaving a little bit of that black showing through, okay? Now, you don't overdo. You just, you know, do it one stroke down all the way across. Okay, once that dries, which we do have one here that's already dried, what you do is take a bit of tape. I love doing this. It's lots of fun. You take a bit of tape and just tape it about you, uh, one quarter of an inch space between each piece of tape. That gives you the outline of your um, wood grain. And I use my stencil pro, which is my favorite. And I'll use black now, or a little bit of black, lamp black or soft black, whatever you have. And I'll fully load my bristles on my stencil pro. And I'll go to my piece and I'll fill in the lines with stencil pro pushing it down making sure they're filled i'll go now and take it off there we go. we'll do all of this in class so we'll you know you can see the lines there to separate we'll also be using ash feltum uh, for the shadow shake it up a little and um I'll use my sable, my angle, which I, my go-to brushes are the full sables. I love them. Black gold or full sable, either or. And I'll just come on either side, shading to make that wood grain. And that makes a very nice background. I use this background for a lot of my pieces. And uh, so those are the two backgrounds the stencil for the snowflake stencil is real easy uh, fits right over the ornament that you'll get in your kit and you'll begin with a dry stencil pro into white fully load and all of you know how to do this now you're after watching me over and over I bet 
at SDP. It was so fun to, to demo all the brushes and, and play and have fun. You're squeezing it off and you're going to your stencil and you're going to the right, you're going to the left. I love the stencil, the snowflake one. Makes for nice backgrounds. I have them all available. I also have a few new ones that I want to show you as well. So that's our snowflake. I love yeah. watching you do stenciling. I know. I love it. Too. <laughs> you do it so easily. It's just kind of, it's done. It's done. It's fun. I had a few new ones that I just wanted to show you as well. Now turn it upside down, I think. And uh, yeah, this one I love. It's called a mini ledger. I use this one. I like words and letters and stuff, right? The swirl one is a, always a popular one. Uh, the gears came back on stream as well. The mini gears, which are fun to do on journals or on your pieces. This is my snowman, uh, one that I use on my uh, cushion covers. And for snowman, I have some a lot of new patterns uh, coming up this fall and winter. So that's the knit for the sweater. I love this one. Whether you're using texture or paint, it's all alike. This is a fun one. It's called a coffee splotch. And I just done a new inking with this one as well. Uh, this is fun. It looks really nice when it's there. And this is the uh, the Paris or Le Fleur. Le Fleur. This one is a nice one too. So yeah, they're all available. I'll have all of these, of course, at net. And you'll see them at class when we when you sign up for the class. So yeah, the ornaments are fun to do. This, you'll be doing the snowman, the skate, the Noel, and the candy cane. Oh, perfect. So a couple of questions. First of all, Karen's asking, uh, with the back to the paints that you're using before, those thick ones, Yes. That, can you blend two different impasto colors to get a third color? You can. They're totally blendable. I was blending with them last night, actually. This is the yellow oxide because it's a sunflower season. I And I added even a little bit of my tiger lily with ah. this one to get sunflowery. It works awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is new to me as well. Uh, and, and at SDP, I uh, connect it with this. So I'm loving it. So you'll see lots of what, What's it called again? Imp it's called impasto. impasto, impasto, tomato. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Jill and I always say. Yeah. She, she's my best cheerleader. She cheers me on. Yeah. There you go. There Jill you go. Uh, also, Karen's asking if you're going to be recording your classes. Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, I'll try to. Of course, it'll be just the recording and uh, it may be like stop and start. We'll see about the memory and all that. But yes, I'm, I'm going to try to. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Um, and yeah, I see a couple other questions. Brenda's asking uh, if this is recorded. Yes, it will be recorded. And you can always go back on Facebook to see this show or you can go to YouTube. So she's uh, she's busy in a doctor's office right now. So she's hoping that she's going to be able to see the whole thing. So hello. And yeah, I, yeah, hello awesome. to so many of friends. I see there's so many on right now. Hey, and everybody. I'm just really happy <laughs> to see everybody and all the questions. And Jilly Bean's on, Jill's on. Thank and, you. Uh, Brenda. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so really nice. She, goes, awesome. you go, she says, you go, Thelma. You go, Thelma. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a blast. Okay. Yeah, this journey has been awesome, I got to yeah. say. Oh, and, perfect, perfect. Uh, now at NET, I'm going to be driving down the 1st of October and uh, be at New England Traditions as well. So that's oh, wow. Good, good. good. Yeah, when is that coming up? In uh, October the 4th, yeah. No, oh, okay. Three, yeah, October yeah. 4th to the 9th. I drive back home and then I go to Christmas at the Glacier in St. John's, Newfoundland again. Oh, very nice. Very yeah. nice. Uh, also at SDP, I had the opportunity to uh, to demo with the uh, water lily also. And, you know, I'm a watercolorist as well, but these work awesome with acrylics and they're great prices. So both Jill and I have these on, uh, you know, for sale on our websites and stuff. They're awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Can you hold them right up just by the camera there so people can see? Oh, they're really nice, beautiful yeah. brushes. Three. Oh, they're gorgeous. The, the, you know, the bristles are beautiful in them. And, and who makes, are. who makes those ones? Dynasty. Dynasty, yeah. of course. Water yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, they're awesome. And even, you know, years ago, we used to have the, what was called the cat's tongue uh, with the little, you know, the little tip. Oh, 
yeah. This yeah. is a beautiful brush for doing leaves. Uh, and I just explored a lot with these at SDP. I love them. They were great to use some and to play yeah. with. Well, yeah. It wonderful, was- wonderful. Well, this has been great, Anna Marie. It's uh, We're looking forward to having you with us again at the fall show. And uh, it was just wonderful to touch base and see all your creativity there and what you've kind of learned mm-hmm. along your way. So I it- know. Yeah. So your website, if you can just remind everybody of your website. It's www.annamarieoakdesigns.com. Perfect. And the YouTube channel as well. There's lots of uh, free little, you know, how to's and on that as well. Yeah. Perfect. Or if you need the kit, if you're signing up for the class, Audrey, just yep. one little reminder that you can email me. Okay. And I can ship it out free shipping for the girls who are signing up for the class for this. Awesome. One. That's, That's perfect. Great deal. That's a great yeah, deal. Yeah. 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 So sign up. Sign up, everybody, sign up. (laughs) All right, thank you, Anna Marie. We had a great having you and great seeing you again. (laughs) Thank you. Take care, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I always have a love, just listening to Anna Marie and she's always got something new to show you. And uh, like I said, I love watching her stencil. I don't know, it's just mesmerizing and she's just so good at it and so natural. It just goes on there. I, I can stencil, but... I, I sometimes overthink it probably where Henry, she just does it so often. She just jumps right in there, which is great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you, Anna Marie. And we look forward to, um, to the class. I took a class from her as well. The at our last show. So I might have to do that one. That looked really good. I love the, those Christmas ornaments. So perfect. <laughs> so our second guest today is Sally Tower Siblis. Uh, Sally is a mixed media artist from Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, let me see. Is she here? Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, perfect. I'll let her in. Uh, anyway, she's from Red Deer, Alberta, and her whimsical style of art often incorporates a combination of lettering, watercolor, and bookmaking. Her passion lies in inspiring others to experience the joy of creativity. She does this through teaching various workshops around the province and on a line. She also believes that everyone has an innate ability to create. Her journey began as an artist at Grant McEwen University. Is that correct? That's right. Am I saying that right? Okay, good. Where she studied fiber arts and visual communications. Around graduation, she landed a job as a window dresser and display at the Hudson Bay store, which I know we've talked about that before. I thought that was so interesting. I hadn't known anybody who did that sort of thing before. So it wasn't until she moved to Red Deer and had her two children that she found her true calling. When a friend introduced her to Lettering Art Guild of Red Deer, where she studied calligraphy, painting, and bookmaking. Uh, she Sally's desire to become an artist has been dramatically influenced by her father's 17 year affliction with Alzheimer's disease. That's that's a long time. That's yeah. And interesting how Anna Marie that we just had on, that's what she was a nurse in the Alzheimer ward where she oh. that for for so many years as well. So that's very interesting. You, you and Anna Marie might have some things to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to touch base with her. Yeah, for sure. And you've self-published a book called The Circle Club, A Journey of Hope and Healing. That's right. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> well, tell us a little. So how, welcome, welcome. Thank you. So happy for you to be with us here, Sally. It's wonderful. <laughs> well, I just would like to say thank you to Art Waves for having me teach again with yeah. your wonderful community of people. So yeah. that's great. And it's wonderful how we can have Anna Marie on from Newfoundland and you on from Alberta and me in the middle. (laughs) I know. Isn't that cool? It is so cool. (laughs) Anyway, maybe you can tell us a little bit about this book. That's very interesting. I'm very excited about this for you. Um, Like my circle club book? Yeah. Oh, okay. I I didn't know about that. Yeah. So it was actually the first publication of it, I think think was in 2012 or 2011 and then we did another um print run of it so it's kind of like a chicken soup for the soul type of a book okay so you can kind of like pick it up and you don't read it in in its entirety you just kind of flip through it and there's little stories and 
and each chapter has pictures of my artwork in it too. So oh, yeah. neat. So where can somebody get this book if they wanted to to pick it up or order it? They can um, send me an email or okay. they can purchase it on my website also. Perfect. Yeah. Good, good. Um, so you summertime, you've been busy. Have you been being creative or what's the summer for you? Does it change at all? That's funny that you should ask that. <laughs> actually haven't been doing a whole heck of a lot of work until kind of like maybe the second week in August. Um, I needed a bit of a break because I was finding like the technology and the Zoom and all that a little bit overwhelming because I do it all myself. So, and even like, as we speak right now, I'm not even sure how to make this screen bigger. And I don't want to touch any of those little dots on there in case I get them <laughs> off of the... Oh, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Things are really picking up for me, uh, work-wise. Thank you very much, universe. Um, I'm actually going to be teaching in Calgary uh, coming up, starting on September the 20th. If anybody is out there and in Calgary listening to this, I'm going to be teaching at the Good Shepherd Church every Tuesday for the next three months. Oh, awesome! Yeah, and I have a little watercolor class, watercolor cards class in the morning. And I have a book, The Art of Whimsy book in the afternoon. I can show you a picture. Yeah, of that'd be great. So there's some, um, there's the cover. Yeah. So I, I, I do a little bit of everything, but really my, my passion. Before. Lift it up just a little bit more, maybe. There you go. Perfect. Oh yeah. I love it. My, my passion is, uh, when I'm doing art, I I like to do the kind of art that is that is um, very therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because <laughs> I've also done very realistic watercolor paintings. If anybody out there has followed me on my my Facebook or Instagram, I I also do um, you know some intricate watercolor painting work. But my preference is the the whimsical style because it's more who I am, and yeah. I feel like it's also kind of like um a style that is achievable by everyone so yeah very neat very neat good 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 uh well maybe you can tell everybody a little bit about the projects that you're teaching at the show Absolutely. and give a little bit of um information there i got much people saying hi to sally and oh, hi. oh yes took liz says she took a class from you last spring and loved it bella says hi sally brenda says hello back hello hello really, really enjoyed your class with sally at the last art waves so yeah oh, perfect that's awesome i appreciate <laughs> everybody's feedback because um my my purpose in life is to have others experience the joy of the creative process that's really what it's about and and when you're creating on a daily basis, it actually gives you energy. So yes. I, I highly encourage everybody to have like a regular art practice on the days that I'm actually able to create. I, I feel so much better. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like exercise, exercise for your brain, you know, kind yeah, of thing. So, that's yeah. a good, um, yeah, just like exercise for your brain. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So All right, I'm, I'm going to pin you so then that way you can um, get to your showing them the projects and doing a little demo for us. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to touch one of those buttons up there in order to just for go my... for it. You can do okay. it. <laughs> if anything goes wrong, you just come back in and I'll bring you back in. Don't worry okay. about it. <laughs> okay, that's not it. Mm. Yeah, for some reason, I can't get this screen to go bigger. I don't know why. Okay. Um, I can actually um, teach in a vertical format just right here. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> I'll get this sorted out sooner or later. But I just want to go over the little um, projects that I'm going to be teaching at, at ArtWave. So this one is called Where Flowers Bloom Card. And this is one that I'm going to be doing. I'm also doing a whimsical snowman card right here. And I'm doing a Merry Christmas card. So um, I wanted to show you some, some of my sketches 
how I come up with these uh, very whimsical snowmen that I do. So I start out, I start my drawing process on um, in a sketchbook, I just playing around with like faces, um, body types. So when you're doing, this is what I love about snowmen is there's really no um, wrong or right way of creating a snowman. And, and even like a snowman doesn't even have to be like a circle. If you look at this one here, it's just like kind of a, almost like a curvy rectangular shape. So really, you can really create some fun snowman if you just think about it and work in your little sketchbook first. And, and after I get my design of my snowman done, I will like dress him up, like decide, okay, do I want him to wear like a top hat? Do I want him to have a toque on? Do I want him to be wearing a scarf? What other little accessories can I add to my snowman to make this card fun? So I'll also play with, oh, does he need a nose? Maybe he doesn't need a nose. Or do you want him to have like coal for his mouth and, and his um, buttons on the front of him? So this is another um, <laughs> image of some of my weird drawings. <laughs> Because I, I figure the more whimsical, the more fun. So I was playing around here. This one is kind of funny. I called him invert. He's got like the, the big part of his body is his head. So kind of like he's an upside down snowman. And then, yeah, so I'm kind of silly that way. I play with whatever it is I'm drawing. So um, I really encourage uh, the ArtWave students to like you can certainly use my design to make your card, but isn't it cool that, that I'll give you the instructions on how to make your own snowman too. So I have some samples here of some snowman cards that I've made. Oh, this one was kind of fun. This one, this one's called Peace on Earth. I love that, very nice. They're all so cute. Oh, like you said, whimsical for sure. Yeah, this is another, this isn't a snowman card, but I, I could put a snowman in here. This one here, there's snow place on earth. I hate to bring up that four letter word right now, but it's a fact of life in Canada. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, here's another one. Here's another little snowman card that I designed. And this is, this is a fun project and it's, it's achievable. Trust me on this. Um, there's another little snowman. This is kind of like my first snowman that I ever did. And I love this one because he's kind of like a roly poly snowman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, very cute. And then I added this little um, chickadee up here to make it more whimsical. So one of the other things that I love to do is, um, and this is something that probably all of your students like, and it's adding bling to my project, especially <laughs> cards, right? So if you're looking for ways to add bling to your projects, I highly recommend there's a, a Secura brand gel pen and it's got glitter in the ink. It's called a Stardust pen. And it's hard to see on this camera, but this, this little painting actually glitters because of the pen that I just, and it's clear. So it doesn't um, take away from the image and you can just like scribble it all over the, all over your card, right? And the other thing that I like to use um, is uh, glitter glue from the dollar store. A really nice way that you can um, bling up your Christmas cards. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, yes, pens. Let's talk about pens. These are my preferred pens. This one is a, um, a Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen. And I use this a lot in my card making. And it's also nice if you, um, if you make an error on your page and you need to fix something, it's like white out only in a pen format. Karen just asked, what is the glitter pen called again? 
It's the Secura is the brand name, S-A-K-U-R-A, -A, Secura brand Stardust gel pen. Yeah, they, they have lots of different pens, uh, Secura. So they have, and they're, some of their pens are colored. So they have like um, metallic pens, they have um, puff paint pens. So the one that you're gonna look for if you go to the art store or the craft store, on the cap, it has like a little star with a rainbow coming off of it. So look for that one and it's a, the clear glitter one. Yeah, this is another pen that I love. This is the Micron, also a Secura product. So they actually, this is a felt tip pen and they've recently come out with this other pen called the Micron uh, PN pen which means it's a plastic nib. So the nice thing about these is they don't wear down as fast. I don't know if you can see that here, but it's got a plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, versus this one, which is a uh, felt tip. So yeah. the felt tip pen wears down quite a bit faster. So you can see there's actually this, this nib is is worn down it's bent over because i've used it so many times and i i actually belong um teach for some of the calligraphy guilds in alberta here and one of the members there introduced me to this pen which is really nice this is also a uniball pen is that yeah uniball and it's got a metal nib on it so this one is great and it's waterproof. This this one's also waterproof here too. So okay. the reason I like to use the waterproof pens is because, you know, if you, um, well, first of all, you're drawing out your image and if you wanna go back into it with watercolor paint, then the, the, the pen is permanent and it's not gonna run. So those are some pens that I really love to use. Um, what else can I share with you? Oh, uh, it's it's that time of year coming up, right? Um, this is actually a, a class that I did on Zoom last year. I teach uh, Zoom watercolor classes. I'm actually doing this the book class as a Zoom class too, if anybody is interested. Um, on Thursdays, my Art of Whimsy book from one to three, um, Alberta Mountain Standard Time. If anybody's interested in doing my Art of Whimsy book Zoom class. And would they find that on the website then? On no, your website? I don't have it on my website. You can okay. contact me directly. Okay. And my name is kind of complicated. If you send me an email, Sally Towers Siblis at, no, Sally at Sally Towers I have two email, emails, but if you use my website email there's a lot of s's in it <laughs> or they can message you on facebook i'm sure too they can that might be easier <laughs> so back to my my little uh, leaf painting here this is actually um a, a pre-recorded zoom class so some of my classes that i think other people might like to take i have put them on my website and this is one that seems to be really popular so if you want to learn how to paint leaves in watercolor this one is a great one to start with and so what is a pre-recorded zoom class you might be wondering so it's a recording of a live zoom class and so there's other people in the class and you'll see their faces and we chit chat and, but we paint too and have fun so yeah. <laughs> So that's, Perfect. Now, did you show the Merry Christmas card? Yes. Which oh, okay. I must have been here. Oh, there it is. Yes, 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 yes. Also, I'm just looking in the catalog and I'm like, oh, there it is. Yes, I saw yeah. the snowman. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So I actually saw. Um, so, where do I get my inspiration from for some of these projects? This was actually, I saw a photograph on the front of a magazine cover and there was like these. Christmas balls just sitting in the snow like it was an actual snow with the, the Christmas balls and I thought oh that would be like a fun Christmas card to make so and if you can you can see the background here it's kind of got a bit of a texture on it so that's done with 
probably some of you have done this before, some of your watercolor painters, that's done using salt on watercolor paper. So you can get a really cool texture that way. Oh, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's been great here. I'm just going to unpin you there. So then we're side by side again. <laughs> Oh, well, that's wonderful. A lot of great inspiration. And like you said, they can go to your Facebook page and connect with you to get some more information or if they want to sign up for one of the classes, um, either your classes that you have a lot available or the ones through Artways. And we'd love to hear from them. So perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Sally. Thank Just you, great Audrey. to have you on the show and great to have you with us again at Artways Live Fall Show. So <laughs> very excited to be teaching again. Yeah, perfect. All right. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Yep. Bye bye. So as you can see, there's some fantastic classes. I mean, that's just a, a scratch of the surface, so to speak, of some of the classes and some of the teachers that we have uh, for you. And, and thank you, Sally. And thank you, Anne-Marie, for all your time and your talents and sharing that with everybody uh, here today. So uh, just really nice to have them to kickstart our our series of shows here for the uh, for the fall show. Um, yeah, every Thursday over the next few months, we will be here live at one o'clock Eastern uh, to, to share more information about what's going on in the industry. Uh, I had a video to show you, but I'm, it's not coming up here. I, so I'm, uh, I will show it next week. It was uh, one of the deco art, uh, some of their new products and stuff like that. So you have to stay tuned next week to see that video. Uh, also next week on our show, which is September 15th, our live guests will be the Lydia Steves and the Tracy Morrow. Uh, what a devil header we're going to have next week for you. So you definitely will want to put that on your calendar or I believe if you go to Audrey, Audrey Live and you like us, you will get notifications uh, of the um, of all the shows that are coming up and that sort of thing. So, but we send it through our e-newsletter and we always make sure we post um, about, you know, five days before the show or six days for the show, what's uh, happening. And uh, just a simple reminder, because I know we're all busy and our lives get uh, to the point where we kind of forget uh, some different things that are going on. And if you miss us, that's okay. You can watch it later or go to the YouTube channel. So Anyway, thank you again. It's been a great show and uh, great to see so many people on. I see uh, Diane and Bella and Karen and Suzanne, um, another Karen. And uh, thank you so much for being on the show. I can't go back any further. <laughs> and everybody take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll see you next week, Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs>